Hello YouTube and welcome to another vlog with me working on my E30. So in this video I'm going to be hopefully clearing up and dismantling the M52. Let me move that out of the way. So yeah, I'm going to be dismantling the M52 as well as doing a couple of little bits and pieces to the E30. So actually, you know what, let's let's jump into what I'm going to be doing with the E30 first. Because that's, a, that's, that's quite a big thing for me right now. Firstly, I want to try and install this Nardi steering wheel. I want to see how it looks on the car as well. Um, there's another little bit that I need to check inside on the dashboard. Basically, when you do a six-cylinder swap, the 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 speedo, not not the speedo, the, the rev counter um, can sometimes read differently than what it actually is. I think it just registers much higher than it actually is going if you keep the stock one in there. So I need to see which one I have exactly in there right now, so then I know which one I need to be putting into the car going forward. So follow me and we'll go into the car. Right, so as you guys can see, the interior is pretty much a mess right now. To be honest, I think that's the best way to put it. Um, so I need to remove that bottom piece just there. I'm going to be taking off the steering wheel, as you guys know. And I think it's just under this trim piece here that I need to figure out how to remove. I think the, okay, so there's a couple of screws from where I can see at the top. But that all needs to get removed, so then I can have a look at what the part number is that I currently have. I think there's two different types, but there's only one way to find out. So let's jump into figuring that out. Right, since the car is a convertible, I'm gonna look at removing the roof. Oh, wait a minute, it's already loose. Wow, so much more light. Now I haven't closed my convertible roof properly because I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it up all later on tonight again. But let's play around with, well, I guess we should I guess we should first remove the old um, steering wheel. That would probably be the nicest thing to do. Smart. Voila. Right, I've got that removed now. I'm just gonna remove all these bits over here. Gives me some space to play around underneath this. So, how on earth? Oh snap, something, something came off there. There's two screws at the bottom there. So I'm gonna go get a screwdriver and remove those two screws, which I think holds this whole thing into place. Might be overkill, but I'm gonna use my electric ratchet thing. Ah, a couple of eight millimeters there, I think. Is it eight? No, nope, definitely not eight. Is it six? No, nope. is it seven? Yeah, seven millimeters. Okay, slide that up. That piece always bugged me because it was there. I was just like, go away. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my usual, put the screws back wherever they came out of. Right, so that's the interior stuff there, mostly taken off. New. Yeah. Oh, that already looks and feels so much better. Ah, oh, right. So, I'm hoping this is the right size as well here. I don't know what size these ones are. So it's not a 2.5. I'm sure it's not a 3. I think it's like a 2.7 or something like that, that. Right, I'll come around to fitting that on a little bit later. For now, I just need to figure out how to remove these pieces. So, two screws. Or the actual head. All right, let me leave these there. Huh, I'm trying to absolutely love everything about this car. Ugh. Right, trusted good old trim removal bits. Ha. So there's two little thumb screws from what I've seen. That just underneath here. Right, the other side was a lot looser than this side. <laughs> you don't want to be too firm with all of this because it is all very old plastic. Awesome, so this screw has been rounded off. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna remove that one. Oh, it worked! Woo! Right, okay. And then that is the surround removed. So this is the bit that I need. 
that's the item number so that's what I basically need to get right so I'm just gonna pop that back in leave the rest of it for the time being I'm not gonna do anything more to the interior right now um, and then we're gonna carry on working with the engine stuff so let's go over there right so with the engine right now I have got most of the bits and pieces off but as you can see there's still a lot on there that I want to remove like you know the oil filter housing um, power steering pump etc so there's a lot to get done with this engine today so I'm just gonna crack into it it's nice to be near my heater again um, honestly brilliant investment if you guys work in a cold garage just get a little heater like this or the cylinder ones just warm yourselves up it's just so much nicer to work on a car when you're actually warm WD-40 or you know some form of I can't remember where I put my WD-40 now I've moved everything around so much can't remember but yeah so um, yeah I'm gonna look at removing all that stuff now and we're just gonna jump right into it so time for a hyperlapse I think and enjoy So everyone, I thought I would stop the hyperlapse real quick just to have a quick look around the actual engine and it looks surprisingly good. Um, well, I say surprisingly, these cars are actually really well built so it's not that surprising. Um, as long as you take decent care of it, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, everything, it, the oil doesn't look too bad in there. Obviously it could be better. Um, it does look like it's gonna need a lot of cleaning up inside of the, um, where the spark plugs go, cause there's a lot of dirt in there. So I need to figure out how to get all that dirt out. Um, might even tilt the engine upside down. Um, the floor is an absolute mess underneath. A little bit of oil fell out and everything. So I'm not gonna worry about the floor too much. I'm gonna mop that up after I'm done here. But yeah, it looks good. Um, I'm really pleased with the health of the engine from the looks of it so far. The cams and stuff like that, they don't look like they've got scratches. Um, obviously they've got the normal wear and tear, but nothing too bad. So that's reassuring. So I'm gonna carry on taking bits and pieces off. I might take a break real quick just to relax, unwind and just recap my thoughts thinking if I should flip it upside down then do the sump um, and then flip it back and carry on with everything else um, which I kind of feel like that might be the best way to do it so yeah um, I'm gonna go take some time away think about it all and I will see you guys in a second so back out with the car and well I think what I've decided to do now is right now I'm going to focus on cleaning it up and removing a few other little bits and pieces. Again, cleaning this thing is gonna be a task on its own. Um, but I need to also get all my tools and everything like that together so then I can like work on everything comfortably. It's kind of weird when it's your first time doing it. I've, I'm taking a lot longer than other people probably would. And even then I feel like I've rushed a few things or like some of the sensors and stuff like that. I should have marked which sensor it's connected to. Ah, uh, just those kind of little bits and pieces. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on getting everything done. Right, never mind, time for a hyperlapse.
So everyone, I've been working hard on degreasing the engine right now. Um, so I kind of put back the oil filter housing. I just thought it'd be easier to clean that there. So I also don't need to worry about any part of the solution going inside. Um, and right now I'm just letting everything soak. So yeah, let's leave it all to it for the time being. I think I've done enough scrubbing and stuff like that. But unfortunately, my jet wash has died on me. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's dead. I tried it earlier, it didn't work. So I'm gonna either have to look at hosing a lot of this down or something along those lines. It's kind of annoying, um, but I gotta deal with that. Right, it's a new day. So let's continue on from where we were yesterday. It looks a lot cleaner to some degree, but I'm gonna carry on playing around with everything. In fact, let's check out the other bits and pieces over here. Better. It looks like all the gunk and stuff like that has loosened, which is what I was aiming for. So yeah, I guess what we can do right now is, is carry on scrubbing everything down, um, getting everything nice and clean, and then we can continue with the rest of the build. Time for another hyperlapse. So I have been working hard on the engine as well as getting parts cleaned up. I thought it'd just be a chilled out way for me to end the year. So I'm gonna show you guys real quickly the parts that I have worked on cleaning up so far. So I'm bring that out for you. Markers, okay, yep, this one was here, etc. etc. Oh, what's it called? The front pulley, the, the crank pulley, that is on there so tight right now. Um, I've tried doing it even off camera at other points, it's just so ridiculously tight. I'm gonna have to look again at the impact on there. Um, and yeah, I think tomorrow, which is New Year's Day, I am going to hopefully take that off, take off the, the sump, and take off the head. So I'm gonna go do all the research for that right now. Now, you know, it might already be the new year um, by the time I upload, well actually no, it will be new year by the time I upload this video. But I hope everyone does have a great new year's and I promise you there will be more from me. <laughs> you know, cause you guys obviously only live for my video. Nah, that's just silly. Honestly, it's been a crazy decade and I would have thought I would have had this car done by now, but things happen in life and you just gotta roll with the punches. So yeah, this is how I'm ending the decade right now. It's pretty interesting way to end it. You know, not out partying and whatnot. I'm just gonna go chill out with the family now. But yeah, make sure you guys do subscribe, comment, leave me a like if you found this video interesting or if you are interested to see where this build goes. And thank you very much for ending 2020 the way you guys did. I'm so happy I managed to reach 1,500 subscribers. So the fact that I'm over that limit now is crazy. It's small compared to other channels, but I've been quite slow in terms of my build. So it doesn't surprise me too much. I'm just happy that you guys are enjoying the content. But yeah, I will see you guys ne next year. Actually, hold on. No, you guys... You guys are watching this in 2020, which will mean I will see you guys this year when you're watching this video, but it's, you know what? I'm just going to end it there. Like, subscribe, comment or not. It's up to you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.